What is going on guys, this is your boy AZ back with another video and today we've got some exciting news from AMD and AMD is going to be releasing their yearly driver renovation model or you can say the yearly driver innovation that they do every year and they've been following that for the past three years when they released the Catalyst Omega driver in 2014, the Catalyst Crimson edition in the 2015 and in 2016 now we are getting the Crimson Relive edition. Now according to AMD this new Relive edition driver is going to be optimizing many games for us it's gonna fix some of the top bugs in the radeon wardman or radeon crimson software like radeon wardman crashing randomly basically they're gonna fix the radeon wardman crashing and the radeon wardman update errors that we got with the radeon crimson software some other bug fixes are also present which you can view by going to the link in the description but the biggest and the most exciting feature that i am and my fellow youtubers who upload videos on youtube after recording from amd hard will be the most excited about is the game capturing feature integrated into the Radeon Crimson software. Now if you guys don't remember, Nvidia's Shadowplay was the biggest feature that AMD couldn't counter with its own hardware. Basically YouTubers and content creators in general would go and buy an Nvidia GPU just because it has the Shadowplay feature which can allow them to capture the gameplay without much of a lag. But now finally AMD has given us a software feature built into the Radeon Crimson Relive Edition software which according to AMD will allow us to capture, customize and share our gaming videos with minimal impact on the performance. And AMD has also shown that this minimal impact is going to be around about 3 to 4 percent depending upon the game. This feature is going to be having an in-game toolbar which is repositionable and is going to enable us to record, stream and take screenshot in-game with a click of a single button. Also it has custom hotkeys support for recording streaming and stuff which is a big big yes for us youtubers now i don't know if this next feature is available in shadow play or not you can correct me in the comment section below but this radeon relive capture and stream feature can add real-time customizable and repositionable webcam overlay to your video footage it can also add custom overlay images and your system info on the screen now one of the things that amazingly and fairly better than nvidia's geforce experience is that to get all these amazing recording streaming and game improvements you don't need to register anywhere it's totally free you just go ahead download and that's it you can use all these features for free moving on now amd has also added some support for previous amd hardware like amd r9 200 series and amd r9 300 series r9 fury series in the radeon wattman settings looking at the list it looks like they've added support for gcn second and third generation of gpus and moving on with the new feature that amd has added now looking at the slides and understanding what amd is trying to say with this new feature basically it's an optional feature to reduce your gpu's temperature reduce the frame rates while in game dynamically now what this feature will do exactly is that it will detect that when you are not actually playing the game when you are not moving the mouse or using the keyboard or there is not any kind of input happening from the user to the game or radeon chill detects that the system is idle and user is not playing the game radeon chill would lower the frame rates in turn that would reduce the power consumption the temperature and in some scenarios it can also reduce the frame rate latency in the game you can read all this information from the link in the video description guys so yeah guys this was it for the information for today about the amd relive or crimson relive software which is going to be releasing on 8th this month i personally am pretty excited about these new features for my pc let me know what you think about this software improvements in the comment section below because with the inclusion of these amazing features i think amd's drivers are well ahead of nvidia's now but let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below leave a thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you don't or you hate everything in life or don't click on anything and show that you're lazy. Haha, <laughs> lame joke. So, I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video. Peace out.